Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bootable Windows 10 USB stick from Linux. Now, this is a situation where maybe you are a Linux user like myself and you wanted to install Windows 10 uh, through a USB stick for whatever needs that you had. Now, the thing is the Windows 10 USB stick works differently than how you would normally take a Linux ISO file and make that bootable. So that's why you have to go through this process. And so the first thing you want to do is you need to download the Windows ISO file and you can simply type in Windows ISO and here are the results. And what will end up happening is once you click on this link, it will go to this page. Now the thing is, for some reason, this page loads really slowly. So you have to be patient. And once you get here, you could choose the version of Windows 10 that you want. You would click on confirm and then you would also choose the language and then you could click on confirm and then it would download the ISO file. In this case, I've already done that. And here's the ISO file right here. Now, typically what you would normally do here with a Linux ISO file, you could always right click on your mouse and then you could make a bootable USB stick or you could go here within Linux Mint, go to accessories and then you could do USB image writer. Now, this would normally work for, you know, for any other Linux distros, but for Windows 10, it simply doesn't work because there's other things that have to happen in order for this to work. And so that's why we need to go through this second process where you need to install a program called Wo USB. And so uh, here is the link. I will leave this in the description area below. But once you get here, there are ways in which you could add this PPA and install it. And so if you go down a little further, you'll see something right here where it's from WebU PD8. If you right click right here and open on another tab, here's more details. And then this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to um, add this repository and install the program. And I'm going to go ahead and put instructions on the command line that you need to put in. So you're going to have to go through your terminal and put in those three commands. You know, you're going to have to first add the PPA, uh, then update your software sources, and then you install this Wo USB program. Now, I've already done this, uh, and my software sources is right here. Here's that WebUPD8 right here. And then once you get all of that done, the program will be installed under administration right here, and it's a program called Wo USB. Now, before you actually put the ISO file and make it bootable, you need to first format your USB stick. It needs to be in an NTFS file system. And so what you do here in Linux Mint, go here to accessories, go down to USB stick formatter, and then you would choose the USB stick that you want to format and make sure you make it NTFS. And once you do that, go ahead and format it. And when it's completely formatted, you could come here, open up, Wo USB, and then you would choose your ISO file that you want to you know, make a bootable disk or drive in this case, and then you would choose the file system which is NTFS, and there is your USB stick, and then you would install. And once you go through this entire process of making this a bootable uh, Windows 10 uh, USB stick you will get an error at the end, but uh, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and ignore it. And now you actually have your USB stick for Windows 10 that is bootable. So let's go ahead and restart our machine and see if this works. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you could get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, Check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so here is my Windows 10 USB stick. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in my computer. And whenever I start my computer, what's very important is you need to make sure that you could set in your BIOS to uh, load it from the USB stick first. So that's really important. And so uh, it's different for every machine. Um, at least for mine, it's gonna be F11. So you can see there. And um, you have maybe uh, different options for sure than what I have, but what you wanna make sure is you choose the USB stick. In uh, my case, it's gonna be uh, this one right here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and press enter and see if that works. So now it should be booting from my USB stick. And as you can see there, uh, there is the Windows 10 logo. And hopefully everything else will come up. And once it does, that means that this USB stick works and it's booting Windows 10 installation. So we're going to wait here a little bit longer and hopefully it'll come up soon. Okay, so there is the actual loading. All right, so there it is, uh, the Windows 10 installation prompt. And this shows that this works. And so that is how you would create a Windows 10 bootable USB stick within Linux, specifically Ubuntu-based distributions like Linux Mint, which is what I use. And so if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my Linux videos, you could check that out. I have a playlist. I will leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.